for friends excellent in tutorials in the previous tutorials we learned how to identify objects with the help of xpaths in today's tutorial we learn about css like how to identify elements with the help of css css is nothing but it gives a way of uh, displaying the html objects on the web page so we can use those css properties to uniquely identify the element under test in automation so how to use css let's understand that first of all we'll understand the syntax of a css selector the syntax goes like this it has three parts first thing is the tag like what is the tag this tag could be an anchor tag it could be an input it could be a span it could be a division depending on which web object you want to work on this would be the tag it could be input span anchor whatever next is the attribute which attribute of the tag you are targeting so this should be a unique attribute and what is the attribute value now we'll understand this syntax with the help of an example so i'll start my firebug now if i want to identify this next button with the help of css selector i'll just take my pointer over there and i select the next button now as per the syntax tag then attribute then its value so if i would see the html syntax below which is highlighted in blue now the tag is input so the first part is input then a square bracket next is attribute now here we have multiple attributes so let's say id so i write id as it is over here then equal to and now next part is what is the attribute value within single quotes in our case it is next n e x t in small cases as you could see over here n e x t in lower case and then i close my square bracket now if i do a highlight if you would see it is highlighting the next button so we have successfully identified this next button with the help of css just one point in the firebug this option should be selected as css so that we are successfully able to highlight it so now we are in a position to click this high, uh, next button with the help of the css selector so when i click this next button without entering any email id i get this error so now we'll try to click this next button through the selenium script and see whether we are able to see this error if this error comes then we the script actually successfully clicked on this button so let's implement this css path in our selenium script so let's go to eclipse here i have already written the code to launch the desired website the next step is the object which we have created for web driver we will use that to click the next button so it will be obj dot find element by expa no it is not expa this is css we are using css now so it will be css selector and the css path which we just created using firebug tool i just copy this paste it over here now we'll perform the click operation so our code is ready we'll try to execute this and see whether we are getting the desired result so let's go ahead and execute the script i would do a run as java application and let's see 
whether we are able to click the next button with the help of CSS selector. So now it has launched the browser. It is opening the website and yes, it has clicked the next button. As you can see, I did not enter an email. So it is displaying me the correct error. Please enter your email. So using the CSS selector, we are able to identify the next button and click on it so this was a very basic example on css i would make tutorials with more css examples this was the start for css i hope uh, this was helpful for you do see my tutorials thanks for your time